So we're here at Amoeba Hollywood and we're talking with Friendly Fires. Hi, I'm, I'm Jack from Friendly Fires. And this is Ed, I'm Ed my colleague. Fires. And we're going to take a look at what's in their bag. I got the Harmonic 313 album because I've heard a lot of people say it, it's saying it's very good. I think it's, it's by a guy called Mark Pritchard who's done some stuff previously that I can't quite remember what it is, but yeah, I hear it's really good, so I decided to take a look. American Hardcore, A Tribal History by Stephen Blush. Um, I've read Lords of Chaos, which is about black metal on the same, um, yeah, it's not publishing Feral House, house. same publishing house, Feral House, and um, it wasn't written particularly well, but it was kind of an entertaining read, so I ho I'm hoping that this book will have the same qualities. Nought is my next. It's actually a split, split record, Nought and, can you, do you know how to pronounce that? Uh, Zastro. Zastro. Um, it's on Southern Lord Records. Nought is, uh, I think it's described as funeral metal. It's kind of really dark, gloomy, slow, kind of black metal. It's not fast, like, dark throat or anything like that. It's kind of really, yeah, really depressing music. So I'm hoping that it might suit the lovely sunny weather outside. And, you know, if you're <laughs> uh, I got a record by a man called Omar Suleiman. He's like a kind of Syrian uh, singer, kind of. Kind of got a slight, slight kind of pimpish vibe about him as well. In his video, yeah, he starts off with him knocking on a lady's door. And by the end, they're pretty much married yeah. at the end of the year. It's really cool, but the, the music is like, I don't know, he uses all these crazy synths and kind of guitar sound. He has this guy that just stands behind him, just with his arms folded, just like looking around, doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, he's quite yeah. easy. But, um, fucking, he's the Don. Bibio, vignetting the compost. It's really kind of beautiful folk run through kind of tapes and sort of vintage tapes and kind of, it's got a really nice crackly sort of vintage kind of atmosphere about it. Some people have said it's like Boards of Canada meets Folk or, or something like that. Yeah, I got a book of the uh, De Capo Best Music Writing 2004. Last time I was in Amoeba, I bought uh, Best Music Writing 2003 in this series. And uh, I've read it endlessly and poured over it and stuff. So every, every, every one of them is only $1.99. So they're, they represent amazing value for money. That's about, that's about uh, like a pet one cent for every quarter of an hour of joy. This is uh, this. The previous book has got me. A portrait of Arthur Russell, wild combination. So many people say, oh, Arthur was strange, or he was so into his work that people didn't know what to make of him. But I've just been told it's really good. I should have seen it by now. I feel quite ashamed that I haven't seen it, but um, I've, I'm glad I've got my hands on it at last. All right, we're talking to the second half of Friendly Fires. Hello, I'm Hello. Ed. I play the guitar in Friendly Fires. And I'm Rob, and I play a live bass. What did you get today in your bag, Rob? I got a few things. I got the new PJ Harvey and John Parrish album. Um, I've no idea who John Parrish is, but I'm a big PJ Harvey fan. Uh, next up, I got a Laurel and Hardy box set. I like Stan Laurel the most. I think he was an Englishman, actually. Made it in Hollywood, so. Oliver Hardy was pretty funny though, he had all these little like twinkly mannerisms for a large man, that was pretty, pretty jokes. Yeah. The next thing I got was the Muppet Show, uh, the second disc, I've got the third <coughs> one, but we need as many DVDs as we can get because touring is pretty dull when you're driving endlessly and you know, you've only got the same people for company that you've known for ages, so um, you'll be hanging out with Miss Piggy and Ralph and all the gang. Um, the next thing I got is a live Clutch album. Clutch are an amazing rock band. The only other piece of music is like a Phil Spector collection of all his Wall of Sound stuff. I really like uh, Be My Baby by the Ronettes. I think it's one of the most perfect pop songs ever. So I'm going to see if any of this other stuff is any good. And see if, uh, I don't know, he is a genius or just a madman toting a gun in a wig, which I suspect he is. And the last thing I got was 
Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory the music, sheet music, so that I can brush up on my tunes and come out with some cool hot riffs inspired by a confectionery. Um, and the last thing I got is by EST, which is a jazz trio from Sweden. Um, and again, I have no idea what the EST stands for. I do. Does it? <laughs> Read it out then. Okie dokie. S. Bjorn Svensson Trio. Trio, yeah. I and can say the word trio. Yeah. yeah. Um, futuristic jazz, according to a friend of mine. So I'm going to check this out. And that's it. Yeah. Thanks so much for talking with us today.